my brothers and sisters. I think that you can hear a knocking sound in the background. I want you to think in terms of what this knocking can mean. First and foremost, it reminds us of the passing of time. It reminds us of the ticking of a clock. It reminds us that there is a, an end to our own lives or this life as we know it. And so we have to be cognizant of the fact that each day is truly a gift and that we have to spend the time wisely so we can minimize our regrets. It also reminds me of the scripture, our Lord standing at the door and knocking, knocking on the door of our hearts, knocking for us to open the door to salvation, knocking to, to say, I want to dwell with you. I want to live with you. I want to, in some of the versions, I want to sup with you. And so we have this invitation that is being extended through the closed door of our hearts. And there is the knocking, the persistent knocking of the grace of God until one day there is knocking no more. I want you to think of when water is dripping, the fact that if water drips on stone long enough, it can erode even the hardest substance. And so your persistent prayer, your persistent acts of love, your persistent kindness, all of these things, you're, you're being grateful, you're being cheerful, you're being helpful, you're seeking to be peaceful. All of these are things that can erode the unhappiness of life and allow you to find the joy of, of God's blessing, what, what the Lord wants for us. And so let the knocking be for you, whatever you need it to be. And may you think in terms of people who are, let's say, building a building and they're knocking wood in place. We are God's building and we are helping to build the kingdom of God. I pray that you will be a wise worker, a faithful worker, a persistent and consistent worker. And may you truly hear, well done, good and faithful servant. May God bless you.